today's tutorial we're going to go over thread milling on uh, ID and OD and I've included a download link for this solid model um, so let's go ahead and get into this I'm going to go to machine mill use a default mill and then I'm going to select my stock setup and for this I'm just going to select this cursor and select this stock and or select the solid model and it'll be our stock to work off of. Um, we're going to assume that all other operations have been um, run on this part. So first thing we need to do on a thread mill is I'm going to go ahead and add chamfers to these. So I'm going to select my contour tool and I'm going to select a closed loop. I'm going to select this chain and I'm going to select this chain. Wait, that was the correct direction, yeah. And, oops. Right, okay. Sorry, I was just making sure the directions were correct. Clicked OK on that. I'm going to go to Tool. I'm going to create a tool. I'm going to create a chamfer mill and we could just go ahead and use the default one that it generates for us. I'm going to spin it at 6,000. I'm going to go around the port at 40. Uh, plunge 25 is fine. For cut parameters we're going to go to contour type of 2D chamfer and I'm also going to turn on wear. And for our chamfer width I'm going to put 60 thou and I'm going to put 50 thou for bottom offset. And then for lead and lead out, I'm just going to turn that off and linking parameters. Um, I'm going to leave these all incremental, incremental, and that is incremental to the geometry we selected on this 3D part. So I'm going to click apply and then click OK and we have our simple chamfer milling operation and now we can get into our thread mill so go ahead and expand our 2D options and I'm going to select thread mill and I'm going to select the top contour of this bore and I'm going to go to tool, I'm going to create a tool I'm going to go down to thread mill and you have uh, whatever thread options you want to use. Today we'll just use the Unified National and I'm going to do te 10 threads per inch outside diameter. I'm going to assume that we have a, an inserted cutter. So cutting length, I'm going to go ahead and just put that to 300. Say we have three teeth on our insert. Uh, overall length, two and a half, that's fine. Um, shoulder length, that's fine. Shoulder diameter, I'm going to put three eighths. And also the shank diameter, I'm going to put three eighths. Actually, I think my the one that I use is actually half inch for the shank and the shoulder diameter. Okay, so we have uh, three teeth. Um, it's a hundred thou pitch, so I'm going to select finish. And then, depending on the material that you're going to use, you would adjust your uh, spindle speed for that. Today I'll just program it as if it was aluminium. I'm going to put 25 on the feed rate and plunge rate. I'm going to do 25. It's not going to plunge into anything. It's an open bore already. So lead in, lead out. We'll leave that at 100 thou. Uh, entry exit arc angle, uh, 90 degrees is fine. Uh, start at center and in at center is good. 
and we could leave the rest of these options as is. For multiple pass, we'll go ahead and turn that on. And I'm gonna do one rough and one finish. So I'll do 50,000 steps for the finish and all that. And I glossed over our cut it parameter, so we could go ahead and do that. So number of active teeth, it's already figured that out for us. Uh, thread pitch is 100, thread start angle 0, allowance 0, taper 0, and that's fine. And I'm going to turn on wear so we could uh, creep into our thread and make sure um, that our thread gauge will work or mating part will work for that. So generally when I do thread milling, I like to uh, push the tool out and then creep into the the, the um, major thread that we need, right? Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I got uh, lost for words. So our major thread is going to be 1.1 and our minor thread, we'll leave that at one inch, which is a one inch bore right here. And we're gonna use a right hand thread motion, right? And then so on thread milling on IDs, you want to start from the bottom of the part and work your way up, and that way it'll be uh, climb milling. So we'll do bottom to top. And then for linking parameters, we could switch all of this to absolute. And a retract will be 0 0.1. Actually, I think I'll set that to incremental, so 100 above the surface here. And then for feed plane, I'll also put that incremental to 100 thou. And then our top of thread, I'm going to select that, so we're negative 1. And then thread depth, it's going to say 2 inches, but I want to start the thread below the uh, part. So negative two inches and a hundred thou. Okay, so I'm gonna click apply and then I'm gonna click okay. And now we can see our thread is coming all the way from the bottom, starts coming in and it doesn't quite creep out. Hmm. Let's go back to our linking parameters. Oh, top of thread. I'll just set that at 0.9 so it threads all the way out, right? Okay. And I'll go ahead and regenerate that tool path. And then if we go into our verify, we'll see what this is gonna do. So I'm gonna select tool path group and then I'm going to select verify and we'll see how this would machine so this should be the roughing pass and then the um, finish pass so I'm going to go ahead and hide my tool and then you can see that it threads all the way up out of the hole it starts into the uh, chamfer so I would say that this is a good thread tool path it should um, cut on the machine almost exactly how it uh, verifies your tool cutting options and then I'm going to thread mill our OD on this uh, boss right here so this is a one inch diameter boss. I'm gonna go to tool, I'm gonna select my thread mill that we designed. And same thing, I'm gonna put four grand and I'm gonna run it at 25 thou and plunge rate 25 thou is fine as well. And then for cut parameters, we're gonna switch this to OD. And then now we need to um, go 100 under our major. So we'll cut into our boss here. So 
So our minor thread is 0.9 and our, I wonder why it says two minor, it might be with the uh, new um, master cam update. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. So minor thread geometry is 0.9 and then the major is going to be 100 or one inch, right? And then for lead out, lead in, lead out, we have the same as uh, before. And multipass is, is still turned on. And then if we go into our linking parameters, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to turn clearance on. And I'm just going to put that at 0.1 absolute so it's going to be 100 thou above this boss and then retract uh, 100 thou incremental that's fine feed plane and then for thread depth we can't thread all the way down here so we'll stop it 100 shy and then top of thread is going to be this right here so you go ahead and select that or type that in if you like. And then I'm gonna click apply and then I'm gonna click okay. And now we could see that we have an OD toolpath, OD thread mill toolpath. And then if I select my toolpath groups and then go into verify, we should get an idea of how it does the OD on this boss as well. Sorry, I was hiding my tool. And I would say that this is a successful demonstration of thread milling. Um, again, you're just going to have to pay attention to the, um, uh, you're really going to want to use your thread gauges and just leave the part in the machine and keep adjusting your, um, your cutter comp just to really dial in those threads and then just keep checking them with your thread gauges. So thanks for watching this t quick tutorial and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. And I think we may be moving on to um, 3D toolpaths. So thanks for watching and keep learning. All right, bye.